Good morning. The thing that I'm thinking about this morning is how we let stories from our past, sometimes from our childhood, just take over and it changes the way that we see ourselves and it makes us feel less confident in the things that we want to do with our lives as adults. So here's my story that has been hanging around for about 50 years now <laughs> and it's about my grandmother so my grandmother was a very proper woman you never saw my grandmother without her heels on and just dressed to the nines and when I was about eight or nine years old I decided that I would take these beautiful colored pages from a coloring book and sell them to the neighbors so I put them in a little buggy I pushed them up the hill of our driveway and I put a, a sale sign on the outside of my buggy and I was ready to start my first business and about 20 minutes into my entrepreneurial journey my grandmother came walking up the hill with her wallet and asked how much for all of the pictures in the baby buggy and she bought every picture that I had and I, in that moment, thought, oh my gosh, my grandmother knows that these aren't good enough and that people aren't going to buy them. So she's here keeping me from being embarrassed. And do you know what? When I launch a product or service in my business, I'm darn near 60 years old. And today, when someone buys my product or service, when I first launch it, I think, oh my gosh, what if they just like me? and they don't want me to be embarrassed because they don't think anybody else will buy it. Now, that message is exactly the same message I felt when my grandmother bought my colored pages. Now, I don't know why my grandmother bought them. Maybe she was trying to keep me from being embarrassed. Maybe she didn't want me to feel discouraged. Who knows? The point is, that message continues to play in my mind and I really, really have to fight it every single time. It is amazing how that inner voice stops us from moving forward, stops us from creating the businesses, the careers, the lives that we can live. We get one shot at this life. So I'm going to ask you uh, in this video to take a trip back in time and think about things that happened to you maybe back as far ago as when you were eight or nine years old that are stopping you from creating the business, the career, the life that you dream of. And be really, really conscious when those thoughts come up that you identify them, you remind yourself that you are taking steps towards your dream life and you don't let situations or comments or any thing that has happened in your past from creating your ideal future. Let me know your thoughts about that in the comments and tell me how you plan to rise and create your dream life.